Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me in the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we're playing as a Badland Buckaroos which does have a generic focus tree but we have Road Ranchers right now but at the same time we've actually installed or are using the Old World Blues reworked generic trees which we'll get to in just a little bit after we talk about our legacy. Our community is not founded alone. Our ancestors have left us with great foundations that make us who make us what we are today. The bombs dropped over a century ago. And the actions by our grandfathers and great-grandfathers have shaped our society. We begin to compile our history so that they may be told to our children and our children's children. Who were our ancestors? Working class of the old world? Oh, huh. that's kind of interesting. The upper crust of the old world. Daily political power gain, more caps income. Huh. Construction speed is not bad, though. The middle class of the world. Better consumer goods and factory output. And next page. Oh, we have another page. Those who adapted to the end. Interesting. Good Samaritans. That's kind of cool. Tech whizzes. Revolutionary thinking. Political power goes up by 2%. Next page. Soldiers in the old world. Ooh. N99 service pistols. Lose 20% political power. Wow. That's quite a lot. They left us drinking water. You just get some political power. Our forefathers left us a dark past as prisoners. Ooh, that's different. I like that a lot. They dreamed for a utopia. There's another page. Lawmen of the old world. Wow. Um, they were outcasts even before the war. Scavengers of the old world and experiences with nature. Well, um, this is a lot. Idealists sound kind of fun, though. Prisoners, love his drinking water. Um, oh, production efficiency based good Samaritans. Revolution thinking. This is a lot. I like this. I like how many options we have. Medical power, caps income, caps expenses goes up. Uh, you know, let's go with... Not this. Oops. Oops. Next page. Next page. We're going to go with... Um, I like this one. The Dream for Utopia. Idealists? Prisoners? Ah, screw it. Let's just drinking water. Our achievements. Despite the fact that we're a small community, we've accomplished a few remarkable things. Also, with that political power, I'm just going to grab this guy. Time for some more political power. It's going to be nice. 1.41 every single day is pretty good. Because we do want to go to war with slags, but we'll see what, how, what, how and what we can do. Our goal. Now we must find a common goal. One that will guide our community through the dark pages of the wasteland. <clears throat> it's always good to have goals, no matter what. Myself... Uh, I got some goals. Our achievements. We've achieved so much in the century we survived and even at times thrived. Our historians seek to find out what our greatest achievement is. Establishing a safe haven. Salvaging our home front. Ooh, how many resources do we actually have right now? Eh, we have a decent amount. Become a trade center. Not bad. Securing our homeland. Ensuring a stable supply of food. Restoring power to our region. That's not bad, too. Restoring a water treatment plant. Not bad. Ooh, we get more population. Connected our settlements. Free infrastructure. Scrap bikes, which I do want motorcycles because that's what some we are trying to get here. Start some workshops. Starting level new army leaders. That's very strong. Wow. Next page though. Access to pre-war armory. Retrieved riot armor. Stockpiled medical supplies. Explosive stockpiles. Salvaged power armor. A survival manual. Restored arms factories. Trained our defenders. I'm actually... Oh, that's pretty good. I like the 5%. Let's go with restored arms factories. That's pretty nice. One, we have three in total. Now we have five. Enough guns. Maybe scrap motorcycles. Directing palisades. That's pretty normal. Um, we also have new homes, which seems kind of cool, but I kind of want to go with our goals. Now that we've established our history, we should figure out what we should do with the present, discovering what we shall do in the future is a task for our children, for local politics. We've not been paying much attention to our people, and we should probably not do that. A regional power, more tact, better to survive goals time, become wealthy, become advanced, um, become a community of peace. Interesting. The most famous drug dealers, cool. Just five world goes goes down, which I like a lot. We've been enclosed community, not bad. We've become a society of builders and engineers. Well, because of our current standing, and we're tribal right now, we have like no tech levels except for level two tech for vehicles, and that's pretty much it. Um, so we be, getting a lot of research stuff doesn't make sense to us. Most famous drug dealers. I'm thinking this probably doesn't make any sense for that stuff. Let's become a regional power, maybe. Why not? But we're going to go with and continue with the elites because we are 100% elites right now and, well, selling it to the elites. The elites within our nation have found an influence on our regime for quite a while. Why not give in to some of the demands of influence? We'll go with survivalists. It doesn't make sense to go God's brightest or private armies or businesses' business, but survivalist. In the event, or even the evening of the 23rd century, there, there's only war and death. Here, we do not live, we th survive. Stable food supply. We must be self-sufficient in food, the lifeblood of society. Prepare for the worst, of course, as well. <coughs> Certainly the Great War was the worst event in history, but nothing protects us from worse. An elite takeover. Our nation is not firmly in the grasp, and, and none will be able to challenge us, at least internally. 
erecting a palisade. We're going to afford to target destroy threats effectively without casualties. We simply need to know how to train. As an intermediate measure, until we can better train our military forces, we'll teach them entrenchment strategies such as moving fire tactics to keep enemies at bay, as well as proper trench digging procedures. Caravan guards, militias, um, militia drills, getting more organization would be good. We need more population in all honesty because it's not very good right now. Air base construction would be alright. Setting sail would be alright. Um, but we need to also pick our doctrine. So many choices we can make. If we're not careful, we can do them ourselves. New homes. A housed people is a happy people. Doctor? Outpost? Support companies? Salvage new tools? That's not bad, too. With the expansion of our industrial strength, we must be able to adapt to our workers with new tools. By gunsmiths? We must improve our military strength for this. We must produce more You, equipment. me, and trying to get some dick shooter in city. Uh... Let's see, they immediately start attacking us, which is fine. Um, we can see what we can try to do here. Because um, I would like to try to encircle them and kind of blow them up. But you know what, I like blowing up people in general anyways. Um, war propaganda would be pretty nice, but we don't have so much political power. And we need... Oh, born, oh we're already on born warriors, wow. Why is it 300 to go in here? 25% research speed and construction speed is pretty nice. It was 15%? Holy crap. That gives you even more... 20% more monthly population, though, if you go from here to there, so... Um, yeah, we're doing alright. Let's get some more political power. Integrated tribal elders, that'd be pretty good to get. So we'll probably win here. Um, you can go right here, that's fine as well. I just want to make an encirclement if possible. But we're still selling to the elders, so it is what it is. Militia commanders. Give commander of militia squads with trained veterans will let officers already having frontline experience deploy longer troops, increasing their effectiveness, letting your command staff understand the requirements of intense battle better than anyone else. They should be able to win. I'd be very disappointed if they couldn't win, but whatever. Oh, that's gonna hurt us quite a bad, quite a bad, quite badly. Yeah, how are they able to beat us up, man? I guess they do have fire teams, but whatever. You should be able to win down here, though, at the very least. Um, you need to be inspirational, so learn more, learn faster. Losses. I thought for some reason motorized had armor on them, but they don't. Of course, these are just bicycles, so what do you expect? Um, we should be able to break through here, though. Have the militia commanders, military, uh, militia organization. Our reorganization of our command staff, as well as division restructuring, will yield increased tactical efficiency during battle. Such matters will let our troops fight more effectively and maintain formation longer in the face of overwhelming odds, given time for reinforcements. Militia drills. Improved drill structure and trimming of unnecessary parts of it, as well as streamlining the training program given across the country, overseen now by veterans and trained personnel, uh, will yield a noticeable increase in the speed at which we can form our militias. It is of the utmost importance that we keep our edge on the field of manpower over our enemies. Absolutely. Um, I guess we can grab that if we really want it. Keep working with the land auction, though. Planning speed, max planning, you know, all that good stuff. Um, you help out here, too. And you guys keep that those people there, too. But we really want militia recruitment posters. Making our most trained personnel or elite units into larger than life soldiers portrayed as tough, professional, ruthless will make us, uh, make effective propaganda. Showing these commandos ready to take on and defeat any enemy will both reassure our population and inspire them into enlisting our militia. Here. Um, you go here, just go around them. I don't want you to help support the attack here, too. Because you should be able to be speedy enough to just go around. Right? Two and a half, well... We'll do the best we can. Come on, come on, and do not let him move. Do not let him move, do not let him move. And then take the, the point right there, too. Hopefully we don't get encircled. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, we got lucky there. You want to do that, too. I want you to hold. And we get a razor control. Oh, well, Cup Army would be nice, but better than Pathfinder. Thank you very much. It's gonna take some time, but we'll get it. I hope. Yeah, it's level too nice. Um, I want to use a lot of vehicles, to be honest with this one. Because we start with a lot of vehicles Ninja, Nerd Rage Motorized, Enforcers. Um, Aqua Boy, Girl, Organization, Experience Soldiers, Losses would be very good to get as well. Sniper's alright. Recon. Um, you know what? Just grab this one. As much as I like this one and this one. Experience soldiers lost is because we don't have that much manpower and getting even more organization would be very quite quite beneficial in all honesty. As long as we don't move around. That's what I care about the most. You wanna help out right here too. I am also okay with that. Take Dick Shooter. Nice. Very nice. It's going to be very bloody, but I want to get. that's why I want to get so much political power, so this way we can just core a lot of things very quickly. 
This way we'll be able to hopefully stand up to a lot of enemies. Hopefully they don't move anyone else though. So we like this stuff. Malicious stuff. 60 days is such a long time though, unfortunately. Um, explore police stations. In the old world there were local peacekeepers, but they were well armed. We can only help for their relics. Not bad. Expand our markets. We cannot afford to continue. To sell vegetables exist, we must expand our commercial uh, efforts. Or commercial offer, really. They're still stuck there? Nice. Don't let them move. Even though it's going to be kind of a grind on our own manpower and whatnot. Really doing this is going to be super important to get rid of their divisions. And I want to award these guys because they don't have that many divisions, at least for now. So, come on. Come on. That's song for the front of you, but that was your head. As much as I want political power, let's get some more war support. Thank you. 75% is pretty good. Just go in. Oh. You guys gotta force it now. I'm going right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ, it takes so long. There you go. Go on right, right there. The more organization you drop quickly, the better things will be overall. There we go. There we go. It's slowly, barely dropping. Uh, but it's dropping. Propaganda. Some more goods. Yeah, I'll do that one. There you go. Come on. Come on. One. Oh, we got rid of one. That's nice. There you go. Still mobilizing. They really want to win. But hopefully we can beat them up. Come on. We'll probably also want to have... Oh. Lag. A lot of lag. From that, which makes sense. Some gliders. Do not let him move. Do not get him any more organization. There you go. Nice. There we go. Now, let him get out of the front line and sort things through. We've lost 227 versus 800, which is not bad. Just go in. Just go in and around. There you go. Fine, just go straight up here. Hot springs. It's all good. Travel elders nice. I'm going this way just because we want to get more stuff here, even though it hurts our research speed. Getting more of this stuff will be very important. Ooh, a soft occupation? Absolutely. More daily compliance and less resistance. That's very good. Um oh, we have a vehicle, so I want to do that one first. Oh, yeah, go to Dickens. After these guys, Murtal Reformers might be the way to go. Oh, I kind of want Kimmel Station, though. I kind of want to expand this way. Oh. Oh, the Troll Warren's still up here, too. Oh, they're going to be a pain in the butt to kill. I want to kill Kimmel Station, because that... Oh, we're going to need to really expand and build ourselves up quite a bit. It's all right, though. Good arm XP. Oh. I should be enough to take them out, though, right? Do we, do, do we need to own more? Oh, come on. Well, we'll take this whatever we can grab and crowd control gear, sure, why not? More guns, more of this, more of that. That's fine. There you go. Nice. Oh, the emergency deploying stuff. Alright, so at this point, you gotta hurry up. Come on, this is ridiculous. That organization is way too high right now. And go, 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 god dang it. How are they deploying these divisions so fast? AI cheats so hard, man. It really does. You're gonna go in, and you're going in a circle. Some more. Again. Like always. Keep him busy. It's good for our XP at the very least, though. No, that's your organization. Drill. They're going there. You guys on this side hold. And let's just kill these guys off here. They really want to start moving? What's wrong with that? Oh, that's taking longer than I would have liked. Ah! Come on. This is dumb. If you take the VPs, that should be more than enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, that division good. Coming Desert Fox, which is also very good too. And you have got it there. Nice. Go there. 
There we go, finally, thank god. I don't know why that took so freaking long, but whatever. Um, Kimmel Station would be nice to have next. Let's go ahead and take you guys out and do that as well. Oopsie. No planes yet, but we'll get there. And we'll do it like this. We'll do it like this. We'll do it like that. And then you get someone else here. And then that's a quick Morlis. Uh, inspirational. And you also get more uh, recovery rate, reinforcement rate, which is nice. Uh, so we'll core this stuff hopefully as soon as we possibly can. It shouldn't take too long to core, but whatever. Go ahead and grab what's that pacification. Um, yeah, we'll do this one too. Encourage women to serve. Yeah, everyone should be able to serve. The women of our nation are still afraid, for they think war should be left to men. We shall show them they can help destroy the enemy and defend the nation as well. Sniper training, infiltration tactics, sniper drills, and they'll kill the just as effectively as any man. Having gliders though? It's very nice. Go to. Standardized military. Our military uses vast amounts of different equipment, be it farms, armor, even sometimes supply and food. Creating and standardizing a basic armament and supply kit will simplify our supply line considerably and reduce the strength both fell both their defensive and op offensive operations. Um, of course, we do this, these two as well. Expand caravan stuff. Uh, ignore that stuff for now. Ooh, whoa. M16 A1 assault rifles. Wow. Increased trade terrorists. That's not bad, too. For the countryside, improve urban centers as well. The capital of a country is reasonably well developed, but the other major population centers are isolated and are not ready. Of, uh, are isolated and are not really strongly connected to any of them. Also, we'll probably go with vehicular warfare because that just makes sense for what we're doing right now. Um, we cannot afford to have an army capable of holding a front line. However, we can hold a, afford a mobile but small army in order to overtake the enemies and surprise them with the speed of our actions. Now it's Kimmel's station time, and let's see what we can do. Now, we technically don't have enough divisions to help hold the line, but whatever. Um, we'll get there eventually. Um, they're, they are attacking us, which is not good. But at the same time, if they're attacking us, which means we should be able to attack them and go straight into Bly or the capital or something like that too. So, we'll see. Hopefully we do well. I hope we do well. There's no point to do this if we're not going to do well, so... Um, you go there too. That'd be nice. Should be able to hold the line here. Maybe not you, but you know, we'll see. And even if we can't hold the line, that's okay. Um, we're sport. We're looking pretty good. Let's grab the political power. Why not? Yay, we love PP. Do we actually have planes? That would be very beneficial. We don't have planes, but we have a plane. Very nice. So, good luck. Don't die too much. That'd be a shame if you did die, so. They do have a total of how many divisions? Up to 13. We have 12, which is not bad, not great, but whatever. The biggest thing is we can take out this tile and just go and just encircle them. That's probably the biggest thing right now. Can you do that too, please? Thank you. You're gonna have to hold until you die, so yeah. Sorry, but not really. We'll see where we end up, though. If you just have a big enough industry, that's all that really matters. So, yeah. And come on, there you go. And there you go, too. There you go, too. Can't do that. Oh, hello. So they did beat us there, or whatever. Um, very strange, but whatever. How about you? I'm just gonna do what I wanted us to do originally. Do that. Here. Go there. Do that. Explore police stations, very nice. Um, you go to there. And... Spinner Markets. Yep. That would be bad to do. Let's go ahead. So, you've already encircled them. Um, not sure how much damage we can actually do down here, though. I would like to just kill them off. Looks like we're about to be butting heads with uh, Troll Warren. Whatever. Free 500 manpower. I love it. Um, you guys go to the field points. And almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. As long as they don't try to encircle us and try to kill us off too, that's the most important thing. And where are we at? Right there too. There you go, going through there maybe. Um, and they are trying to encircle us as well, god dang it. Okay, go right there then. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Kill them off there, kill them off here, you know, the normal stuff. Yeah, they're gonna force the attack. Feel points, it's good. You should do a fine there. Until they get like encircled or something. Right here, we have already 51% compliance, which is pretty nice. We don't need very much there, but we'll need enough. Ooh, you guys. Force defense, too. You guys should be able to win down here. 
But we should be able to do a lot of things. 8% knock rate, 84% knock rate. It's only two divisions too as well, so it's kind of sucky. Actually, it's very sucky. Yeah, we need more divisions. We make these guys thicker as well. Uh, let me grab you. Equal supply. Better supply. Gets more army XP, basically. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give us a win somewhere here. I'm not asking for a lot. Just somewhere here. Trying to kill off infantry on... That is defending is difficult. Trying to use infantry to kill off enemy divisions is also very difficult, too. Crap. Come on. You gotta win over here. You, especially up here. That's fine. They're going this direction, too. Don't really care too much. Um, here. Just go to Kimmel Station. Literally the name of their nation. Oh, my God. Are you done yet up here? We'll go to Bly next, maybe. We'll see. Let's go straight to Bly. Adel Badlands. Can I save me the political power up as well? See if we can core more stuff. Are you kidding me, bro? Come on. God, I hate some of these divisions so much. Go to Adel Badlands. Once you take that, take that. That should be good enough to capitulate them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How can you... How do they not suffer from supply issues? That's my question. Bro. There you go. We got him. Still. We just need to snake around the enemies, and that's pretty much it. Um, you guys are next. 25 days? That's pretty good. Even though divisions are complete crap. Whatever. Uh, infantry, infantry, infantry. I think I'm a little thicker. You guys are already 18 combo, which is pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. More divisions, more manpower is needed. Spanner markets. No, we we'll get that manpower immediately. 95%, 59% is not bad. 0.7 goes up by 0.1 or 0.2 every day, which is good. Um, caravan guard, best image garrisons. Attack. I kind of like the operative slots as well. But we'll probably go with this one. Less damage gear since it's kind of nice. Also, this one now has plus 5% political power, plus 5% stability, more passive caps income, which is pretty good. What else we got around here? Mm. I guess we should probably go with car manufacturer, more supply, cell usage, better supply usage, more vehicles, reliability and armor. Well, we have no armor. These herders. They're just infantry, but motorized. So let's come over here and grab you. Motorized enforcers. We got guns. Yeah. That's what I kind of figured. It's alright. Um, as soon as we can get enough compliance, we'll be fine there. They have enough divisions to cover their entire line? No. But neither do we. So that's not good. We don't even have two cities to spare. Oh. So, we could go to war with them. If we really wanted to, immediately. Flyboy, sure. Interception mission efficiency, that's fine too. Uh, we have a total of three planes. How many divisions do they have? 5 to 17, 1 to 3,000 manpower. Would we be able to do anything against these guys? Probably not. Considering how much, how many guns were out. Which is quite bad. Um, well, at least you can cover the entire line. That's kind of nice. But they do have special forces, which is going to be bad. I mean, I think the, the biggest thing for us here is just to uh, encircle. Uh, what well, do you know? We've been trying to do that, but whatever. We immediately start attacking us. I want you guys to immediately go in. Um, do that too. You guys go over there to somewhere else, I guess. Well, you got your goal is blitz. Firm shields. Go there. Go there. Um, so be so. Wherever we're at, we got to help hold the lines best possible for now. And yeah, see what happens. Oh, they're going to force defense. A force attack. A little force defense. Field fortifications, which is good for walking infantry and whatnot. Coordinate itself, more breakthrough, more coordination, yes please. Flexible designs, let's see, we're gonna grab you next. Oh come on.
And if things don't go well, we'll do some funky stuff then. Because trying to play these kind of generic nations is not super easy. Might be. That actually be very good for us. Right there. Right there. Right there. Come on. Come on. Can I recommend the Badland Buckaroos? I don't know, but I'm probably going to go insane trying to do this, so. Let's go recruitment posters, which is nice. Encourage women to serve. Yes, yes. So if you can't take the capital, they're a certain percentage gone. What do we want over here and do the Sylvies too? And go up that way as well. That's definitely an option. You guys are really not learning very much at all. It's fine, it's fine. Special Forces are going to take a while to destroy too anyways, but I'm not too concerned about that, so. Um, take, playing this nation is going to be extremely difficult, so I might do some focus off screen to see if we can actually do anything anywhere here. Um, I do plan on Vault City probably attacking us eventually. Yeah, I'm probably going to scrap motorcycles too, which isn't too long, so. Uh, where are we at here? If you want to keep in place, that's fine with me, so. But let's do a couple more focuses and then we'll see what else we can do. Um, like I said, vehicular warfare. If you're going to do that again, please go ahead. Don't take the enemies and surprise them with the speed of our action. Supporting the walkers. You get more armor, but we have no armor already. Let's go back up here and we'll do uh, expand caravan security. That's great to be able to supply our shops and villages, but if these caravans never come, it's useless. Let's change that. Deconstruct weapons. We have found many weapons for our too complex. We could try to dissemble them into something we understand. Relics of war. The old world seemed to be permeated with an atmosphere of constant warfare. Perhaps we can benefit from the vestiges. Increase trade tariffs. We need to make a profit on every sales, otherwise we'll never move forward. More resources. The waste are forgotten storehouse of valuable resources hidden away in forgotten ruins. Why not make the most of it? Reopen armories. We originally need to expand our military force, and in order to do so, we must expand our industrial capacity. Build sewing ho sewing homes. Our people need clothes, do they not? Setting up homes and spaces for people to sew clothes will make our people happier as they won't have to rely on finding an old pre-war suit instead they can make one. We build industries. You simply cannot stand on the wasteland if you do not have significant industrial strength and expand production. We need more and more production. Our workers must be more efficient and faster. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll probably struggle and might die. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.